Welcome back. And in this video, I want to talk about another thing that we already covered. And that is enumeration and information gathering. So this is a step that you also shouldn't skip once attacking websites. We already covered information gathering. So this video is more like something as a refresher, just so you know which tools you can use to enumerate and to scan different websites. So for this section, we're going to be using Metasploitable most of the time. We're going to attack some different targets, but for the start, we're attacking Metasploitable. So make sure that Metasploitable is up and running. I also ran the ifconfig command, and it gave me the IP address of 192.168.1.8. So the first thing that we can do is try to visit the web page of that IP address, just to see what we have. And to do that, we can open our Firefox. And remember that once we attacked Metasploitable, we said that we're going to attack port 80 later in the course. Now it came that time. We are going to attack port 80. And once again, we're attacking port 80 because it hosts a web page. If I visit this IP address of my Metasploitable, it will open this page right here. It tells us the warning, the contact, and the login to get started. But down here we get a couple of links. If we go to any one of them, it will lead us to a different directory of this web page. Currently, we're in the slash dev directory. If I go to the parent directory, it will go back to the 192.168.1.8, which is the main or the parent directory. If I go and visit dvwa, it will lead me to this directory right here, which is slash dvwa slash login.php. And this file hosts a login form. So we got username and password to input. If we take a look at this web page a little more clearly, we can see down here that it tells us default username is admin with password password. So for now, we're not going to brute force this, we're just going to log in so we can see what we have behind this login form. And here it is. We got DVWA, or as we can see right here, it has this name. We get a warning, a disclaimer, and here we get a bunch of different attacks that we can perform. Remember, we talked about XSS, we talked about SQL injection, we also mentioned brute force and command injection, and these pages are pages where we can practice these type of the attacks. All of them are stored in a separate directory. Now, we can go about discovering all of the directories on a website like this, or we can use different tools to automate this process. So, to enumerate and to gather as much information that you can about the website, you can use the tools that we already covered, such as the harvester to gather emails, such as WhatWeb to discover the website technologies, and all of them we already covered, we're not going to do that once again, but there is another cool tool that you can use to discover directories, and that tool is called Derb. Derb is already installed in Cal Linux by default, so only thing we need to do is to type Derb and we will get the help menu for this specific tool. We get a bunch of options as we can see right here, but also down here we get the examples of usage of this tool. So the most simple test, as it says in the brackets, would be just specifying derp and then the link to the web page that we want to scan. If I go up here, we can also see that we can specify different word lists, but I believe derp has a default word list that it uses, so we're just going to go with that one instead. So if I type derp and then 192.168.1.8, Oops, invalid URL, so we must specify derp and then HTTP two dots slash slash 192.168.1.8. So this is how we must specify a link. If I press enter, it will go and search for different subdirectories inside of that web page. If I scroll a little bit up, we can also see it managed to find some of them. It found slash index slash index.php slash php info slash php info dot php we got slash test slash tbwiki and if i go all the way down we should be able to find even more subdirectories on that web page and right here we might be able to find something interesting for example 
we can go and visit any one of them. Let's visit robots.txt. If I copy the link, go up here, paste the link. Hmm, we get something right here. User agent, this allow. We already know what user agent is. It is a field inside of the HTTP requests. Let's also see what else we managed to discover. We got slash test slash teams, readme, php my admin. That could be useful. Let us check out what this is. You never know. Anything that you find particularly useful or interesting, you might want to check out by visiting that page. And this seems to be some file with the PHP code. So let's go and check out something else. And it seems that there is a directory called passwd. Let's see what this is. If I copy that as well, go and paste it. Missing fields, fields go with mark or required. Please go back in your browser and try again. Topic web home. So it seems that this page is missing some fields. Right now, we don't really know what this is all about, but by visiting this, we discover more and more pages that we might not be able to find once browsing through that page on our own. Now, right here, we can also notice some other information that we get on the side besides these links, and that is the code. And if you remember, this code is simply just a status code, which tells us whether it managed to load a page. Right now, we get code 200 for most of these pages. Sometimes we will get code like 304, which means that the page gets redirected to a different page. And at the right, we also get the size of that specific page, which is not something that we're currently interested in, but you also get that information if you want to see it. We can see other links as well, and you would go about visiting any link right here that you find interesting. So let us go down and it seems that it found 56 links, but that is only with this specific word list. It also downloads, I believe it downloads the contents, but I'm not really sure about that. However, what you can do is if you're not satisfied with the results from this derb directory, you can specify your own word list if you want. Nonetheless, this is not that of an important tool for us. However, you can use it if you'd like and you can combine it with different tools that we covered for the information gathering to gather as much information about a specific website. Now, since we already covered information gathering, I'm not going to go into those different tools. You can also try finding new tools from the GitHub or somewhere else, and you can experiment with those tools as well. But right now, what we're going to do in the next video is we're going to configure a really important tool that is called Burpsuit. And as soon as we do that, we're ready to perform our first attack.